it's been exactly a year since Forza 4 came out, and uh, that's great. You know, every couple of years we've come out with the highest rated, you know, best-selling game on the Xbox 360, and that's really great. We love it. We love that everybody has been pleased with it. It's kind of praised for its epic, beautiful simulation experience. And we do other stuff. Um, Forza 3 and 4, we made the game as easy or as challenging as you want it to be through assists. And so we've always we've always had a lot of success with this, but we've never set out to make the greatest racing simulator on the Xbox. That's kind of a that's kind of a short-term mission, if anything. Our goal is to turn car lovers into gamers and gamers into car lovers. And we really mean that. We really believe that. That means that you know there are gamers out there who may not see cars the way we do. We want them to see cars in a different way. They love it leveling, they love XP, they love sharing things online, they love doing all this cool stuff, but they may not see cars the way we do. There are also car lovers who don't see games as a viable way to, ex to express their car passion. We want them to see think cars the way we do and play our game. Um, that expression to date has really been through circuit racing. You know, Forza Motorsport 4 is, takes place on racing circuits where you're constantly braking and turning and shaving a tenth off your clock trying to get the, the fastest lap time you can on the Nürburgring, and then going in and tinkering with your downforce settings and your spring tension, and doing all this stuff to try to make sure that that car is exactly the way you want it to be. And that's awesome, it's a great experience, but Forza Horizon is a new expression of, of car passion by Playground Games, who shares our vision, but they wanted to present their, their passion for cars in a whole new way. And what is that? Um, it's really through exploration. It's too fun. It's just getting in a car and driving fast and hooning around on the open road and going to this huge, imagine a music festival full of, you know, the world's hottest bands, the world's hottest cars, all there at the same time. No rain, no cops. Have a, <laughs> have a blast in the world's funnest cars. And that's really what it's about. And we've been getting, and it's, it's still got Forza DNA. It's got the same, it's built on the same graphics and physics engine. It's built with the same handling model and the same uh, physics that you've come to look, know and love in Forza 4. It's just an entirely new environment. And we've been getting a lot of questions, you know, what are you guys doing? You know, why do you call this Forza? Is this a sim or is this an arcade? What are you doing to my Forza? It's our Forza too. <laughs> um, look, simulation versus arcade, honestly, we see that as an outdated way of thinking, really. Um, to us, you know, arcade games are fun. Right? You know, smashing cars is, is fun. I guess you're into that sort of thing all the time. Cars in those games are typically weapons, right? Um, they're disposable. You start out with a cool little hatchback. As soon as you get the fast Mustang, you throw the hatchback away and you drive the Mustang and you, you know, take out the other cars and you keep working your way up and you forget about all the cars you've had before. And not only that, they all tend to feel the same. You know, some might be heavier or something like that, but really, that's what we, that's what we see things differently. The car is the star in Forza. Every car is unique. Every car has its own special personality. And that's why we go through insane uh, detail and research to bring all that real world characteristics to life. I like to take an example. You know, I have a 1960 Volkswagen Beetle. So you can imagine one of my favorite cars in Forza Horizon is a, is a Beetle from, 19, from the 60s. And what's cool about that is I can, I can take that little car, just not gonna, stand a chance against you know the Lamborghinis and the Ferraris. But I can go to the garage and I can do an engine swap and I can put some big ass rims on it and I can get a luggage rack just to make it look cool. I can do <laughs> all kinds of things and I can turn that into a 600 horsepower road monster and beat all my friends. So we, we like to foster lasting relationships between players and their cars. Cars are not disposable to us. Um, so uh, one of the things I can also tell you I'm going to play a little bit and show you some of the fully unlocked world and talk to you about that. But you'll see as I'm driving, there's a there's a different uh, feeling in the driving. Not not feeling, but a, a different rhythm, a different cadence. You're really just hooning around and having fun. Yes, you're going to be doing a lot of racing. You're going to be, you know, taking uh, uh, point, uh, taking part in circuit races, point to point races, night races, dirt races, all those things. But it is an open world. You're free to go wherever you want. You're free to go off that career path and just drift around and goof around and have fun. And the game is constantly rewarding you that uh, for how you drive through a skill system. And you'll see me doing some of these things and I'm sure you'll find and discover a lot of them yourself. But the more skills you do, the more popular you become. You become the most popular driver in this festival. 
and you'll also uh, be invited to really cool events where you're racing against airplanes, and most of you will get a chance to do that because that happens pretty early in the game. So again, it's speed, style, freedom of the open road, all with that Forza 4 authenticity and DNA running throughout it. So without any further ado, I'll just fire up uh, the game here and just drive around a little bit, and I will dismiss you all to play the full game and have a good time. If I hit the mute button here. I wake up my keyboard for cheating. So it's a huge, huge world. Everything from the Rocky Mountains to the Red Rock Deserts to the plains and farmlands. It's a fictionalized version of Colorado where the roads are designed to be fun. They weren't designed by the Colorado Department of Transportation. <laughs> but, and as you can see here, I've got a lot of events. And there's, again, there's festival events, there's street races um, that is done outside the festival with a bunch of people who like to drive through traffic at night with a bunch of their buddies as fast as they can. So you'll be doing some of that. And again, it is all open. Like I think our demo, we, we opened about this much of the map and we got a lot of flack for really, you know, what are you guys doing? You call that open world? <laughs> this, is, this is about as much as you got the demo. This is a, a very big world. People are going to be having a lot of fun. So let me just uh, set a waypoint here and I'll just do some, try to do some stylish driving. If I turn on my physics. Like that, the game is, is scoring me, giving me skill points, and that's all going towards my overall popularity within the festival. It's the same every year. That wasn't good. Let me sit like this. There are dirt roads all over the world, there are paved roads, there's freeways, there are twisty mountain highways. And that music is not the music that we thought would be cool, or we thought you thought would be cool. That music was curated by Rob DeBank, who is a DJ and, uh, for BBC One Radio. And he's also a real-world festival promoter who puts on festival in Europe. And his goal was to give you the soundtrack that you would expect to hear at any summer music festival anywhere in the world today. And that's the music you'll be hearing in this game. And you can see I just went through a speed trap. Right now I'm not connected to live, but if I am, that speed trap will compare my time against all my friends' time, or everybody in my car club, or players around the world. And there's tons of those sprinkled throughout the world. So you're always competing online, even if you're... Uh, and if you make mistakes like this, you can always undo those mistakes with Rewind, which is great. That's been in Forza since, I think, Forza 3. And it's a real lifesaver in an open world setting. And those dirt roads are pretty scary sometimes, and you come into the festival at night, it's this wild party. And another thing, I don't have Kinect set up right now, but if I did, I would, you know, and a lot of times in an open world you find yourself getting lost or wondering where am I supposed to go, and you can go to the map and you can select a waypoint on the map, or if you had Kinect, you can just say, uh, you know, GPS Festival, or if you're in Britain, you can say sat -Nav Festival, and it'll be the same thing. <laughs> And what it'll do is it'll draw that green line in the world and it'll set a route for you just by saying those words. And that's pretty cool. You don't have to have Connect to play the game, but if you do, that makes it a little bit better and uh, a little bit easier. You don't have to stop driving. You can just keep telling the game where you want to go next. And you don't even have to know the name of the destination. You could say, uh, you know, GPS Next Race. So here's the heart of the festival. This is where you go to customize your car. Check out the cool stuff from the marketplace. Go and uh, you know create a car club or join a car club with your friends. Go to Race Central to challenge your, your friends to rivals events. And go to the auto show to buy some of the world's greatest cars. And we got lots and lots of cars and lots and lots of manufacturers. And you probably think I was going to show you a supercar, but no. 
I'm gonna show you my favorite car. And uh, there you go, Volkswagen Beetle. So again, um, you know, hey, where's the yellow? What's that? No bumblebee. <laughs> well, you can paint it any color you want, or you can go to the uh, you can go to the um, paint shop and hook up that Beetle with whatever you want to hook it up with. But again, you know. It's about speed, it's about style, it's about freedom of the open road, it's about building personal relationships with cars um, and having fun in an entirely new environment, all with that Forza DNA, that Forza physics running through it. I want you guys to go out there and have fun playing the game. Um, it is the full game, so as far as you can get, get as far as you can get and have fun.